Hmm? Traveler, good afternoon. You're early. The show doesn't start until the evening, you know. Hmm? You came by to see if we needed help? That's very generous of you, but we're mostly all set up by now. We tend to get everything prepared rather early. <laughs> but Linny will be happy to see you. Come, this way. Are you just coming back from commissions? I see. You've been helping out in Fontaine a lot recently. It's appreciated. Ah, mm. uh, take a look. As you can see, my brother is currently suspended from the opera house ceiling at the moment. Lenny, come down! Just a moment, Lynette. I'm trying to figure out if this is... Uh, is that the traveler? Hold on, I'll be right down. Uh, let's see. How do I untie this? Uh, is it this way? Maybe the other way? We always practice the big tricks in the hours leading up to the shows, but Linny tends to fine-tune things down to the last detail. <sighs> it takes forever. You called? <coughs> Linny, you don't need to appear in a cloud of smoke just to come talk to us. Oh, Lynette, as a performer, it's the very least I could do to approach the Traveler with my utmost effort. Hmm. Though, you're certainly here early today. Lynette told me she had invited you to our show. But our show isn't until later in the evening. It seems they dropped by after their commissions to see if we needed help. Generous as always, I see. But I'm afraid there's nothing left for us to do except to do another practice run. Again? Linny, we've been practicing for weeks, and all of our runs have been perfect. I don't think practicing any more than we already have is going to add anything more than fatigue. Don't be like that. We could... Uh, uh, huh? Is that rain out there? Now that I think about it, it did look a little cloudy when I was up on the roof today. Hmm, I certainly hope the noise doesn't get in the way of the show. Hmm. <sighs> Tired? Uh, no. Hmm. Well, the rain should probably pass before the show, and it doesn't make much sense for us to go anywhere now. Why don't you get some rest, Linny? You've finished practicing the last of the tricks, right? What? I don't need any rest. How can I rest now? Why, I could do two or three shows this evening and still have energy to spare. The show isn't until the evening, Linny. We have several hours before then. You should get some actual sleep. Take a nap, even if it's just for an hour or two. You fret too much, Lynette. I already slept more than enough last night. You saw me turn in early, did you not? I was fast asleep far before you and Fremenet were. <clears throat> Liar. I know you barely slept at all last night, Linny. You may have gone to your room on time, but I could hear you pacing around and practicing your magic, knocking things over. You've been like that ever since I told you that I gave the Traveler front row tickets to our next show. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're always more nervous before shows where the Traveler is going uh, to be- Okay, mm. that's enough, Lynette. Mm. Pay her no mind, Traveler. Mm. I assure you there's nothing to that statement she just made. <sighs> In any case, I do think you should rest. You're more likely to make mistakes during the show if you're not well rested before a performance. Even if you say so, I just don't feel tired. It'd be counterproductive to lie down if I'm not going to sleep. No, I think I'm going to spend the next few hours practicing after all. Just to be sure I have everything down. Hmm. 
Fine, then. I'm going to rest. I guess just the Traveler and I will have to take a nap together. Mm, right, right. Uh, wait, what? Why are you so surprised? I usually always enter power saving mode in the hours before our shows. And you never seem to mind when I took a nap here before. That's why we placed that sleeping cot back there in the first place. Uh, yes, I'm aware of that, dear sister, but isn't taking the Traveler with you a bit... Mm -hmm. Well, they look tired too. And you know the saying, two birds. Uh, even so, Lynette, you're being too assertive. Or maybe you're not being assertive enough, brother. If you don't like it, all you need to do is join us, Linny. What are you doing? Just accept when your sister is trying to help you. Uh, but... Come on, Traveler. This way. Uh, hey, hold on, Lynette. Here we are. Okay, Traveler, lie down. Ah, <sighs> moving at your own pace as usual, I see. No need to drag the Traveler along with your whims, Lynette. I feel bad for them. Ah, <sighs> honestly, you really should try being a little more accommodating of others. Uh, why are you getting so close to them like that? There's only one bed, Lenny. We're going to need to get close if we're all going to fit here. Yes, I accept the logic of your explanation, but aren't you a little too close? Hmm? Really? Does this bother you, Traveler? See? The Traveler is fine with it. Besides, we're napping. What's the point if we're not as close as possible? Uh, mm. You should do this too, Linny. It conserves body heat. It's efficient. Oh, again with your efficiency. Even so... I'm not sure I want to go along with this plan of yours. Fine. You don't have to join us. More room for us. Just don't make too much noise. Hmm. The Traveler and I will simply take a nice nap here together. <clears throat> They're very warm and cozy, Lenny. You're missing out. Well... I suppose a short rest might be nice. If I had known this would make him lie down, I would have asked you to come here sooner. What did you just tell them? Hmm? Nothing. <sighs> I swear. Uh, is... Is it okay if I get in beside you? Lenny. I can't help it. This bed would be small for two people, let alone three. Fair. That's better. Very cozy. Uh, are you okay, Traveler? Uh, here, let me cover you with the blanket a little more. It does get drafty back here. Mm. What's that look for, Lynette? Nothing. I was just thinking. You really do get along with us quite well, Traveler. Maybe we should consider adding you to the show and joining us permanently. Mm. Lynette, don't you think you're troubling them with a suggestion like that? Surely the Traveler has better things to do than becoming a side part in a magic act. 
What? You can't tell me you wouldn't want to see them on stage wearing an outfit like ours. As a matter of fact, I... Uh, uh, it might be... a little interesting. <laughs> it's decided. Traveler. The next time Chiori is in Fontaine, I'll set up an appointment for her to take your measurements. Mm. Or you can always ask Linny. I'm sure he'd help you with that, too. Uh, okay, now you're just taking this joke of yours too far. I just... Well... He offers stance, Traveler. I'm sure it'd be very fun. You could always be with us then. And... Hmm? Lynette? Fast asleep as usual. Oh, I swear, she can fall asleep so easily. I'm almost jealous. I ask you to forgive Lynette. She can actually be... weirdly pushy about some things when she gets an idea in her head. And though most people think of her as quiet and aloof, as you can see, she's actually quite assertive when she's just around me. Still, to be able to drift off that quickly. Mm. Though, if I think about it, she usually only falls asleep that fast around me or Fremine. She must really trust you. We... We all do. Um, Traveler? Is it okay if I get a little closer? Uh, I hate to say this. I'm kind of hanging off the side right now. I have to hand it to Lynette. She was right. This is warmer. Um... While you're here, I wanted to thank you. For what? For helping us so much. You've helped me and Lynette not only during our trial, but even when we were on assignment in the fortress of Meropede. I even heard you assisted Fremine in one of his assignments, too. You've... been so good to all of us. I know you've had your doubts about us because we're involved with the Fatui. And at first, you almost didn't help us because of it. But... I'm glad you did. I... I want you to be able to trust us. To trust me. That's actually why I keep trying to call out to you when I see you. I... I just want to be closer with you. You've helped us so much. I want to repay you, but you don't ask me for anything. And it seems that whenever we get to work alongside you, even if things are intense, it's... it's fun. 
I usually never get to smile like that on assignments, but when it's with you, it comes so easy. It might not be important to you, but recently I started thinking I I want to make you smile too. Not just with my magic tricks, but if possible with just me. <sighs> it's funny. I know there's no use in worrying about it, but sometimes I wonder what our lives might have been like if I had met you earlier. I joined the Fatui because our goals happened to align, but... You and I had met long ago. If... If we had met you instead. When me and Lynette were in a dark spot. If you had encountered us. And saved us. I wonder if I could have sworn my life to you instead of the Fatui. I wonder if I could have lived my life carrying out your wishes instead of father's. I wonder what that would have felt like. Mm -hmm. Regret? <laughs> That's a funny thought. Regret is a feeling only reserved for those who could have changed something, right? I couldn't change anything. I didn't have the power to change anything. Back then, I... I couldn't save Lynette on my own. Father saved her. I wasn't strong enough on my own. That's how we ended up at the House of the Hearth. <laughs> Those who have the power to change their lives on their own probably don't end up with the Fatui, do they? I needed someone else to give me strength. That's why I am where I am. So, I could never regret what I've become. Because I didn't have any other option. Uh, what's happened has happened, and I can't change who I am now. The things I've done, or what I'm going to become. And I know the Fatui are generally considered to be your enemies, but... Even so, is... Is it too late? Even though I am... This... And I still wish to be a part of your life. Is there a day where you can look at me as not someone you know in the Fatui, but just as someone you know? Maybe even someone you like? I didn't mean it like that. Or... 
Maybe I did a little. Forgive me. Speaking this truthfully is... something I'm not used to. It's just... You're just too good, Traveler. I see you, and I see the way you've helped so many people in Fontaine. You look at so many people with this light in your eyes. And at some point, I began chasing that light. And I realized I want you to look at me that way too. I want you to smile when you look at me. I want to laugh with you. I want you to laugh and smile so much that even if it's just for a second, you forget that I'm part of the Fatui. I just... Is it too late? wish to be next to you like that. Even laying beside you like this, I can't calm down because I honestly have no idea how you see me. How you see us. If it's better than I'm imagining, or if it's far worse. You like spending time with us? Really? I want to take your words at face value, but... You aren't just saying this because you're currently sandwiched between two Fatui, right? <laughs> that would certainly make sense to... You like spending time with me? Uh, really? I guess I should stay quiet so I don't wake Lynette. Hmm? Lenny. Traveler. That's flammable. Use a penguin instead. Uh, uh, what sort of dream is she having? <laughs> I'll be more quiet, and maybe think about getting a little sleep myself. I feel like I could now, but still. After you told me that, I want to talk with you more. You're so close. I could probably kiss your cheek right now with zero effort. May I? Sorry. I 
so relaxed now. Traveler, you will stay with us, right? It, it's okay if I believe in you a little bit, right? Really glad. You really are so warm. Hmm. Not just you. So... Oh. 